Welcome to Lovers of Jesus Ministries International. The message you are about to hear is from the Lord's anointed Dr. Edward Irobi, the man with the mandate to proclaim the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ and to raise an army for the Lord in this end time. Let's go to the word of the Lord. You may ask me, I say, Brother Edward, what does the Lord expect from the church? Knowing that this is the feast, that the festival that the enemy wants to use to push us to hell. What does the Lord expect us to do? The Lord expects us to walk wisely, circumspectly. That's it. Before I provide some passages of the scriptures, I want to let you know, maybe you have watched some of these videos online. There are several videos of the revelation the Lord has given to his children because the Lord does not do things without warning. The Lord has been warning his church, don't celebrate this. And many people are still celebrating. The Lord recently uh, uh, um, visited his servant, a, a, a prophet Aston and Bayer. Pro Pro prophet Aston is from Kinshasa. He lives in Kinshasa, Congo. The Lord took him to the chamber of those that celebrate Christmas in hell. And the, the, the stories are endless. Both cardinals, both priests, both members of churches, both little, both elderly people, both young and old, they are all in hell. The reason they celebrated this feast. You may be saying, oh, Brother Edward, how can you substantiate, substantiate that uh, 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 revelation Brother Aston gave? Go and seek the face of the Lord. I have said it. The problem with a lot of believers is that they don't pray, but they talk and talk and complain. Go and pray. If the Lord is our God, he will speak to you. Mm -hmm. He will talk to you. So, brother, asking God this revelation, how many people we are burning in hell and, uh, you know, being tormented in the flames and demons, we are punishing them, laughing at them because of celebration of Christmas. My brethren, how is it that as a believer, you have been a child of God for years, this celebration will be something that the enemy wants to use to rob you of the kingdom. Brother, I have resolved. I said, no. Do you know what I told my children today? I told them, I said, hey, children, it's better for you to do more than doing less. Instead of getting to the gate of heaven, the angels of God that's supposed to let you in will say, uh-uh, you, you did not do this other one. You know, and that's why we don't want you to enter. It's better for them to tell you, oh, you did more. Mm -hmm. You better do more than not doing uh, uh, the one that you expected to do. It will not be hurting for you not to celebrate this feast so that you will land safely in the kingdom of light. Let's go to the word of the Lord. Um, Galatians chapter 5. Remember this subtopic before we pray. What the Lord expect from the church. Galatians chapter 5. Galatians chapter 5, verse number 1. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Galatians chapter 5, verse number 1. Hear the word of the Lord through Apostle Paul. Stand fast, therefore, in the liberty wherewith Christ had made us free, and be not entangled. Again, with the yoke of bondage. Beloved, the Lord has delivered us from yokes of bondage, of sin. We supposed to be living as people that are free. Don't entangle yourself with the yoke of Christmas. I must send gifts. I must eat this. I must wear this. I must go to this place on Christmas Day. No! Don't associate yourself with that. That's a yoke of bondage. The enemy has... Do you know some children, what they do when mama, papa fail to buy Christmas gift on, uh, for them? Do you know? Check online and see even what wives do to their husband because of this. Why all these things? If this celebration is supposed to be a holy one unto the Lord. I pray the Lord will give us understanding. Let's not live in bondage anymore. The word of the Lord in the book of uh, St. John's Gospel. St. John's, uh, no, First John, I mean. We have two more portions before we pray. First John chapter 1. This, uh, 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 First John chapter 2, I mean. Epistle of uh, John 
Uh, we are going to read chapter 2, verses 15 to 17. We have been emphasizing on this, on this platform. I pray that the Lord will give us understanding in Jesus' name. Amen. I read the word of the Lord. Love not the world. Celebration of Christmas is loving the world. It's a lovely way. Can you think about this? The type of feast that idol worshippers, believers, and everybody they celebrate. Muslims, Buddhists, enemies, everybody they celebrate. If you ask anybody who is a satanist, who is a witch, the person can give you more insights about the spiritual connotation of a celebration of this feast. The Bible says, love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. For all that is in the world, the lust of the eyes, the lust of the flesh, the pride of life, they are not of... Uh, it's not of the Father, but it's of the world. But the world passeth away, and the laws thereof. But he that doeth the will of God abideth forever. Don't love the world. We are separate people. We have been separated unto the Lord. I want to let you know, you are a holy uh, uh, generation. You are a holy nation. You are a chosen generation. You are a peculiar people. God has called you out of darkness, translated you into the kingdom of his beloved son. Let's go to the word of the Lord, the last portion before we pray. This portion touches me every time I read it. The book of, uh, the book of Romans. Romans chapter 13, 11 to 14. This talks about our behavior, our attitude, our attitude towards this feast, towards living without the will of God, what the Lord expects us to do. Romans chapter 13, 11 to 14. And that knowing the time, huh, that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. For now is our salvation nearer than when we believed. The night is far spent, my brethren. The Lord is coming soon. That's the essence of blowing this trumpet as the watchman. The Lord has placed me here to blow this trumpet. The night is far spent. Soon, they are, they are, soon the dawn will come that will give rise to the coming of the Son of Man. Don't miss the rapture because of this celebration. The night is far spent. The day is at hand. Eh? Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness and uh, let us put on the armor of light. Let us walk honestly as in that day, not in rioting and drunkenness, not in chambering and wantonness, not in strife and envy. These are the things you see during celebration of Christmas. People fighting themselves, people drinking and getting drunk. People, a lot of things. I have, I don't have. I want to have what I don't have. I want to show up. I want to live big. Verse number 14. But put ye on the Lord Jesus Christ and make no provision for the flesh to fulfill the laws thereof. That ends the word of the Lord. Put on the Lord Jesus. Do not fulfill the lust in the earth and the Lord will be pleased with you. Beloved, I know this is a hard message. I pray that the Lord will give all of us understanding. It took me time for me to assimilate all this, for me to internalize them and ask God for forgiveness. I don't know what may be going on in your mind. And those of you that may be watching this video in future, what may be going on in your mind? I pray that the Lord will give you understanding. I pray that the spirit of the Lord will bring this thing home to your heart. I have blown the trumpet as a watchman. Apply your heart to wisdom in the name of Jesus. Shall we pray? Our heavenly father, I have delivered your word to your people. I pray for understanding as your people will petition you, as they will seek your face, asking you concerning this message. Lord, I pray that you reveal yourself to them. Reveal the truth unto them. 
In the name of Jesus, I cover my audience by the blood of Jesus. Hey, Mama Koromo I begin to cover my brothers and sisters by the blood of Jesus. I begin to take authority over the principality of Christmas, over the powers of darkness, trying to trying to sway them away from the truth. Lord Jesus, I cast out uh, from their way any destruction from the pit of hell. In the name of Jesus, my God, I invoke your presence to flow into our hearts and bring the truth unto us. For it is written, you shall know the truth and the truth shall set you free. Lord, let your truth set your people free and all glory and all honor and all adoration will be ascribed to you the only true god immortality that inhabits unapproachable light in the name of the lord jesus we pray amen and amen beloved thank you for your time today thank you for hanging around with us i know the lord must have touched you i know the lord must have blessed you i know these things are very controversial if you have any need just give me a phone call you know my phone number is always displayed on uh, uh, when we present our videos send me an email and say brother edward i want to discuss this thing further with you and the lord will bless you Go and enjoy the peace of the Lord. We believe you have been blessed by this message. Please join us every Friday for our revival prayer meeting and on Sunday for our Bible study. You can also follow us on Facebook as Lovers of Jesus Ministries International. For prayers and can study, please call plus one four seven zero five four zero one seven eight four. You can also visit us on our website www.lgmhigh.net. Remain blessed. Jesus is coming soon. Oh, spread the tidings round.